What's up guys, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how to unlock all four hidden pages inside the Fighter Records book. We have Forest of R and Cave of Hidden Gold. They are both related to the Avenue of Great Merchants. Then, we have the Paradise Forest related to the Forest of Tribute. And then, we have the Ancient Cave related to the Smoldering Volcano. We're going to start talking about the Paradise Forest. It's also related to the first two other pages anyway. We just have to travel back to the first page. And on Forest of Rebuild, after you unlock it, the first button and you delivered your first Yellowstone by clicking here on the grass, uh, then you have to deliver all the remaining stones. I will be clipping a part of my first video to show how you get all stones. What's up everyone, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you all the secrets and riddles of Fighter Records, starting from page 1. For those that don't know, you need to unlock all stages by reaching level 10, and then that will allow you to do everything on the right order. That's easier. Okay, so starting with Forest of Tribute. Well, you need to go back to this place so many different times, but you can just do everything that you need to do at once. Well, when you get to this point here, you can click this grass after defeating all four enemies, this grass here, and it will unlock a button. You have to click exact the center, if I remember correctly, and then you will be able to use the first yellow stone that will be given by clicking on the grass and that will lead you to the bottom left portal the bottom left portal have five different signposts you have to click on all of these signposts because this will give you access to something different later some have just hints but this one here unlocks something that will happen on a different stage okay now that we discuss it, the stage, remember that you have to bring five different stones. We brought just the first one, the yellow, that got us to the signposts. We're back to give all the other four stones and that we will unlock a place here on the bottom right where we can also uh, send other different, this time, shiny stones. First, we'll be discussing where to find those four other stones because we already sent the yellow one. Okay, so let's go back here. The next stage you should be going is the Smoldering Volcano. And here you have to go north first. And after north, go right. Then go down. And you'll now be on southeast. Here you have to click all those three stones. And this will give you the red stone. And to find the Greenstone Tribute, you have to go to the Moonshade Forest. There are three areas here. Uh, travel to North. Then again, after you defeat a boss and get a treasure chest, and you reach a dark area. Here you have to use a Lantern, uh, probably around this point here. But the Lantern is not in this page at all. You have to go back, then you go to that second part, and there is a Mining Cave. Go to the Mining Cave. And here you have to click the signpost, and it says boulders are in the way, a gift item for whoever removes them. Uh, you have to click many times on the boulders, many, 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 many times. And then uh, some drops will appear, they are kind of mining ores, you have to beat it. But they are instantly defeated. Once you defeat them, you get the lantern. So you can go back, then travel to... Moonshade Forest again. And now you can use the Lantern. After using the Lantern, your Greenstone Tribute will be on the bottom right barrel. We can also go to the Blue Stone Beach. And on the Blue Stone Beach, you will find four different stages close to this signpost. And it says here uh, you have to defeat five times this stage. Five times this other stage here, two times this one, and three times this other. So, after you finished it all, 
you will be granted with that blue stone. Okay, now we have all the five normal stones. Go back to the Forest of Tribute, click the center bottom here, and send all four stones. Okay, and it will unlock all the other portals. And after you get the treasure chests, you can click on the center here, exactly the central point to unlock another bottom. And here you can deliver five different shiny stones. The first ones were called Rebuild Stones. Now we need to find the shiny ones. Now, where do we find all those five shiny stones? The first one is right on Avenue of Great Merchants. If you saw the sign posted on the bottom left portal, when you reach the center here, uh, it will unlock a black merchant that will sell you parchments to the left side and to the right side. So if you go all the way left in the portal, you will unlock a hidden page. And if you go all the way right, you will unlock another hidden page. After you deal with the merchant, you should click exactly the same point where it was and it will give you the shiny black stone. Now there is a second and we'll be going after the second page in here on Village of Treasures. On Village of Treasures, you find lots of different treasure chests. Some of them are empty and you have to click way too many times on the top left. And you get something, then keep clicking, you get another something. And then by the end of many, many, many clicks, you will find that green shiny stone. That's the second one. Okay. After the Village of Treasures, we should move to the third page. And here we have the Buried City. On the Buried City, we have to go to the Ancient City Center. That's the center of the map. And here, there is the Buried City 6 stage. Click in this position here, and you will find the green shiny stone. That's the third one. Now, we can go back, go to the fourth page in Volcano Perimeter. In this one here, you will find the red shiny stone exactly at this point here where I am clicking on the lava bottom left. That's the fourth. And now the last one is found on the treasure room F. Yes, the fake treasure room. And you should click here on this big background art of a treasure chest. And with that, we have all five shiny holly stones. And when you go back here, to the Forest of Tribute, you will then unlock a hidden page by going to the bottom right and offering all shiny stones. And now that you delivered all stones, you will grant access to the Paradise Forest. Now go to the Avenue of Great Merchants, and when you were unlocking all stones, you found a black market here where you purchase the parchments. Okay, after you did, you had to travel all the way left, and then after defeating the enemy, you will use the parchment and unlock one of the hidden pages. Then you had to travel all the way right and defeat the other enemy, and then unlock the other hidden page. As for the ancient cave, you need to go to the smoldering volcano. Here on the area called Northwest. And now that you are on Smoldering Volcano 5, you have to bring three different things. The first is a character called Vasalt that can be found on the Romancing Shop. Then you also need information called Tiger's Den that you can also purchase in the Romancing Shop. Bring Vasalt in any slot. The third thing you need is a character capable of applying darkness. And there are plenty of characters that can do that. You have, for example, Princess White Rose. She has a freestyle on the Romancing Shop. And we also have Kong Ming, for example, that is easy to acquire. He's on a Platinum Pool. And he also has Light Ball, among many other spell characters like Blue, for example. And now that you are ready, you have to fight the enemy Sphinx and apply Darkness for five turns. Now that the fight starts, you can already use normal attacks with all your other characters. Please, don't bring them equipped. You cannot kill the Sphinx before it runs away. 
Now, oh, Joe has a chase attack, and this can happen, but she won't do enough damage to kill the Sphinx. You should be casting Light Ball on turn 1, and then again on turn 2, because it lasts for 4 turns, and we want that effect for 5 turns, because they will run away on turn number 5. So I will recast Spell, and speed up the process. Well, as you just saw, it ran away on turn 5. So, you can either do the same thing on the next enemy or kill it. As soon as you finish the stage, the challenge will be cleared. But now we need to explore Force of R because there is a hidden secret inside of it. You can see the letter R being drawn in the background. That means that you have to bring Robin characters into your party and kill the enemy to unlock the treasure chests. Well, you have two different official Robin characters in the game. They come from Romancing Saga Tree. There is Robin, Fake, and Robin. You can find many different styles of these characters. They are all easy to acquire, either on the Romancing Shop or when you are pulling on Platinum. So, uh, you have to bring both and then finish the stage with the two together. Now, one of the three treasure chests will give you a Lantern. That's the second from these records. And it will be used on the Cave of Hidden Gold. Yes. Inside of this, you have to use the Lantern. And then after you do, you have to just defeat the enemy to unlock all other six treasure chests. With all that, you found all four hidden pages and got plenty of different rewards. Well, this is the end of the series of videos for Fighter Records. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this can help you find everything. And if you want to support the channel, we have links on the description. I hope to see you soon on the next one. Goodbye.